Hey guys, Sean T. Phelps with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. They're going to go out today, see if your things came out, they see if things are on sale. I did realize though too that, um, you know, I'm still going to go there, but you know, Target now in stores is not going to carry movies. So it's like such a pain. There's now no movies available in store, you know, in, in person in store anymore. You can get them online and they, you know, have like the Deadpool and Wolverine steelbook available online and already sold out like right away. So obviously... People want the stuff, and I think the problem too, when it comes to Target, is and you guys could tell from the videos too, they were always notorious for never ever stocking. I mean, like I went to so many different locations, and it would be so rare for the things to actually be put out on the shelves. So you know, like Walmart though, they're getting a lot better and doing way better with stocking. I've noticed, and it's like because they realize they're the main place. But I've also realized a place to really that's worth going to is Barnes and Noble because I was I went to a Barnes and Noble on Saturday and was just sort of looking through the section better and they are carrying way way more than they ever did they're getting stuff from kino they're getting um shout factory things they're getting smaller horror films so there's like a lot more stuff coming it's, it sort of seems like they're almost trying to be a little bit like um fries electronics back when you know ye, you know before you know, fries is totally gone now but you know when i remember when i first moved out here uh in 2010 fries electronics kind of would carry everything and like some you know for the bigger releases and everything and it's it's feel it's feeling like certain locations of Barnes and Noble are kind of like that, and they're stocking a large amount of the new releases. They're getting at least one or two copies of these things. So that's what's really cool is it seems like they're a good place to go to to see some stuff in stores physically. You know, in, in the stuff that you wouldn't see uh, anywhere else. And they're getting like ones that if Walmart only has the DVD, they seem like they have the Blu-ray. Like stuff like the Fabulous Four. I saw the Blu-ray of that there, and Walmart only had the DVD. So stuff like that. It's just nice to see that they're really ramping up the section and there I, I almost feel like we're going to see some of the Barnes and Nobles that you know got rid of the movie section a number of years back I almost feel like we're going to see some of them get a small section of it again because I really do think that that's um, a lot of people are going in there for that especially for the Criterion sales Sorry for the long intro, though. But today, though, new release-wise, the main stuff coming out was Quiet Place Day 1. And there's also um, the um, uh, Kinds of Kindness was coming out today as well. Uh, you know, and the, but with uh, Quiet Place, I believe there's going to be a steelbook for that one. I, th I don't think it's like a s exclusive to anywhere specific. I think it's like kind of a general steelbook. Uh, but also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. Yeah, I can't do the intro out there because it's like those kids out there with the chocolate stuff. It's like they're always selling chocolate for the basketball team. It's like, it's always like this scam thing. They're always out there. It's like, it's always going on. And it's, it, so you can't, you cannot stand out there. But they have some more of the, um, the Christmas stuff. I think I showed most of these ones uh, last Tuesday. One thing, though, I totally forgot that came out today to mention in the beginning uh, was Maxine. Uh, that's one of the other ones that comes out today as well. Of course, though, like I said, there won't be any DVDs or Blu-rays in here, though. But let's take a look, though, in the, you know, of course, this is not opened. You know, the self-checkout. But we always show here, too, where the movies used to be in the front. And now it's the books. And now in the section, we have to show the actual, where the movies used to be in general. But I always like to see what's new here. This Elton John book is definitely new. And then, other than that, I think, I don't remember seeing that Barefoot and Contessa's, like, her book. I don't think I remember seeing that last Tuesday. But we'll go over, see if there's anything, you know, new toy-wise. And like I said, there won't be anything movie-wise over here. And if you guys didn't hear my video last Tuesday, uh, you can get the tickets for the um, the one-night premiere for my film Desert Fiends, uh, December 13th in Vegas. So I'll have the link below for that as well, too. But yeah, though, in here, though, in the back, I was seeing if anything new in here. I know the one new thing that came out was, I think I saw randomly at one Target, there was the um, Chucky Christmas one but i've yet to see the megan uh, neca figure that's one of the ones that i know came out it's going to be in targets this, some locations though when it comes to targets i found you know when it comes to the uh these toys and stuff this area some of them are about this size but some of them have sections that are about double it's just so weird though in here now you know this is back where they used to have the um like budget movies and this is totally gone now the books so it's just so weird for there to be absolutely no movies whatsoever in here like I, see this is where the movies were movies and tv and now it's you know k-pop stuff and everything too but like i was saying guys uh december 13th is the premiere for the movie i directed desert fiends in vegas and hopefully you guys can come out for it i'm gonna have the link below for the event bright for it it's a one night only thing uh you know for it as 
as well too. But yeah, in here though, they actually have this new Wallace Bigfoot. I actually found this over the weekend, uh, this one, this big Wallace one. It's one of the Target uh, exclusive ones that they only have in here though. But yeah, th this is one of the um, the Bigfoot ones, the Wallace one. Down here though, they have a spillover of the toys over here, but I'm not seeing any of the Megan ones. Like I said, I know that one is one of the newer ones that Targets are starting to get, but I don't see any any ones in here. I think this is a newer one, this, this Casey Jones replica mask. I don't remember seeing that one. Into Walmart we go. The one thing that's supposed to be in some Walmarts, and I found like randomly one of the small packaged ones, but not the actual toilet, is that weird thing that's like, I don't know much about it, but it's called like the Skibbity Toilet or something like that. And it's like that guy's head coming out of a toilet. And like only like certain Walmarts actually carry them, but they're these weird like heads in the toilet. But I'd like to see at least to show you guys on video because it's just ridiculous. But I randomly found a couple of days ago just the package thing, like the blind bag, but they didn't have the actual toilets and stuff like that to show. It's, it's such a strange thing. It's one of those things that's like kind of like they actually made this thing. It's actually available and stuff like that. I don't think this location is one of the ones that has it. But we'll see, though. In here, though, toy-wise, I'm seeing if there's anything different in here or new. I think there's supposed to be some newer Simpsons coming out at some point. I think these are new, these, like, little Care Bear, like, teeny little ones in there. But I think there's supposed to be, at some point, some new of the small little Simpsons ones. And those ones I like because they're only, like, $5, uh, the little ones, though. But um, not seeing anything different in here, though. What are these ones? Oh, these are those transforming ones. I've shown those ones uh, already in here. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else. The, oh yeah, these are some newer things in here. These uh, Grinch-like kind of Lego type things, like block building set thing. But I've not peeked yet, so we'll see what they have in here today and everything. I'm seeing a large amount of things. Let's see. Oh yeah, so they have a steel book here for a quiet place for $34.99 for the uh, steel book. I don't think it's exclusive though. And then the standard Blu-ray is $24.99, $24.96, $34.96 for the Blu-ray. The DVD is $19.96 and they have long legs still out. And then Maxine, that's the one thing here too. They have like um, a different color cover to the Maxine in here. So it's red for the Blu-ray. See the 4K is black, but the red one, I think it's I think this is exclusive to them having it with the um, the red uh, slipcover on it. And let's see, over here, anything else over here? I'm seeing a couple newer things. This one, Arcane, here from like, um, is this a Shout Factory release over here? And then the Howard the Purple Crayon. Oh, and then they, oh yeah, and then Bloody, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I guess that came out today. I th the, the sequel, I think. And then they have the, um, so the steel book here is $24.96 for this one. And then uh, $14.96 for the DVD of that one. So that's cool. I didn't even realize that one was coming out today. I guess that one kind of like came out of nowhere. Oh, and there's some new uh, steel books here I see too. This one, this is the Five Nights at Freddy one, I think sold. I saw that one was coming out. They have a Strangers one here, Dancers with Wolves, Mummy. This pumpkin head one. This is pretty cool. This Halloween Trilogy 4K one for $49.96. That's definitely a cool one in here. That one I feel like is probably going to be one that goes pretty quick. Oh, yeah. And then they have some... There's a bunch of things in here today like I didn't know about. Like this one, uh, Thelma. That, was, that came out today. And then this Exuma movie. That released a uh, bag head. And this one, this AMFAD with Jojo Siwa. That one, I, I want to get that one. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray or not. I have, I have to see. But that one came out today. Uh, Interview with Vampire Season 3. Uh, this Aaron Eckhart one, uh, Chief of Station. The Convert released today with Guy Pierce, Murder Company. So yeah, a lot of things today. These ones look like they were empty. Like, oh yeah, those are Civil War, but yeah, actually a lot of things in here today. But I think that Baghead one, I have to see if there's a Blu-ray of that as well. Yeah, so in there I ended up getting the um, the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey, uh, you know, uh, two steel book, which I was surprised to see in there. I, for some reason I totally didn't know that one was coming out today. I don't know how, I did not realize about that one at all. And then I also got the um, that All My Friends Are Dead one and then the bag head one as well. I realized, I'm like, damn it, I forgot to take a, um, lots of cars over there. It's like I've been hearing all these cars today making noise. There's some sort of like, 
a vent or something over there. I don't know what it is, but it was like, it was in the car early when I first got here. It was this real loud horn, but it's some sort of like a car show or something going on, you know, in there. I always realize I'm like, damn it, I forgot to take a thumbnail. So I always like, always forgetting to do, to do that. Into the second Walmart we go. And those wondering, I did go back into the first Walmart to get a thumbnail. Cause I'm like, I was afraid what if I, you know, one of these other ones might not have all the stuff out. So we'll see what's in here today though. I wonder if this location would have that weird skibbity toilet thing. Cause when I was looking it up online, I saw like one location that showed that they were available. And then like the one that I randomly found the, the blind bag thing it was in kind of like a package like this. It was one of those ones you couldn't see through. Uh, that was not one of the locations that said they were even going to be available or sold there. So they keep having more uh, new things coming out for a uh, Wednesday, like this one here for thing. I saw a thing like this too, a real small one like that in uh, five below. But let's see, I just want to make sure I don't miss if they do have that weird toilet thing. Because this, it would be in one of these kind of areas like this, like in the middle of the store. And they kind of put it like, could be kind of any random spot. I would think it'd be close to the toys. But it's like, basically, it's like a head coming out of a toilet. It's so strange. It's, it's a little bit overpriced. So it's like 45 bucks for it, for like a, a gag toilet thing. But it is kind of funny. I won't lie. It's kind of one of those things that's sort of funny. Yeah, in this location today, though, you guys can see like a lot of the stuff that the other location had. Uh, this one does not have out. So like they don't have any of the um, Quiet Place Steel books. And then like they don't have any more of the uh, Maxine or anything in here. So they only, yeah, they only have one left of the 4K. The other other ones are gone so this one's really really picked over in here today into the second target we go we'll see if this one has anything different toy wise or anything like that as well but i'm glad the last you know the first walmart had out all the new releases because the last one was so picked over and half the stuff wasn't there and stuff but we'll see what's in here today this one usually has a lot of loud music so i might have to just tell you when i get outside what's in here but we shall we shall see yeah, in here though, I, it's, it's funny, this location has a whole lot of these like itty bitty ones and like the SpongeBob, the little one in his house, the a Quickie Mark one with, you know, Bart. But in here though, yeah, see this one has the most of these itty bitty ones that I've seen. And I saw this Five Nights at Freddy like head thing down there. I don't think I had remember seeing that one before, but not seeing though any of the uh, Annabelle doll though, as far as I can tell. Well, just as I was leaving, you know, the Target, I randomly saw just one of them. And I, and I for some reason, these were supposed to be, I thought Walmart, but but they had that skibbity toilet. I couldn't help it. And it actually makes a flushing noise. So you see this, it flushes. And inside of it, I think is the head that like comes out of it. And then there's like these like little mystery, like mini figures, mystery stickers. I, I couldn't help it. It was like one of these very strange, strange things. And I've seen the, and then I saw like a video of it earlier. I'm like, oh, I gotta get that really weird thing. So, yeah, so I, I got the skibbity toilet, but, um, let me know though what you guys picked up on DVD Blur or 4K if you guys ended up picking up anything today. It was a lot of a lot of things came out today. A much bigger week. And you know, there's other stuff too. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is like on the Tuesdays where there's not stuff coming out, like you know, the alternate Tuesdays probably start going to Barnes and Noble more too and go there and show some of the stuff. So next Tuesday I'll plan to go to Barnes and Noble. Uh but now uh oh yeah, and then this past week and I saw two different films. I saw the one uh, Monster Summer, which Mel Gibson was in, which is kind of like a sort of like goosebumps a little bit, like a town where something is happening. It's like these kids are trying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, it, it like I said, it has that sort of goosebumps kind of feel to it. And I will say Mel Gibson was in it more than I thought. Like I thought he was going to be in it for like five minutes, but no, he was throughout the whole movie. And then the other movie that I saw was The Joker 2, which is like the Joker f folks, Lux, or it's some, I don't know how to say it correctly. But when it comes to The Joker 2, there's been so many negative reviews. Like, it's been like terrible. And like, honestly, like, I might be the one person that says it really wasn't that bad. Like, I was watching it, and it wasn't pissing me off. I mean, I was, I was watching, and I wasn't like, this is horrible, or this is atrocious. I actually thought it was okay. I felt like there was stuff that probably could have been a little stronger, but like performance wise, especially Lady Gaga, I thought she did a really good job. I thought it was probably her strongest performance and very different for her, I thought. I liked it, I really did it. Like I said, it's not as good as the first movie at all, but it's not as bad as they're saying. It's, it's not to the point where, oh my God, don't watch it. Like it is definitely worth watching and I don't feel like it ruins things. I feel like it's much more of a, a courtroom drama and more of uh, him in the mental hospital, more of that type than uh, 
an action, a lot of things happening type film. But that does not mean it's not worth watching. It's just not as exciting and, and as big and scale as the first movie, though. That's, that's what I would say. But let me know, though, uh, what you guys thought if you guys got to see the new Joker film as well. And, but also, though, guys, stay tuned now for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got from Shot Factory, Scream Factory line. This is one I'm so glad now is available on 4K. And I love this movie. I remember seeing this one in theaters and how much I love the movie. And this is George Romero's Land of the Dead. And what was really cool about this film, too, was this was basically the first time that George Romero really got to do a film for a big studio. Because everything else he had done, for the most part, had, at least when it came to the zombie films, you know, all the films in the zombie series that he'd done, you know, Night of the Living Dead, uh, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, they were all, you know, lower budget films that were not done for big studios. So this was done for Universal Studios. So this is the first time he had a studio backing to one of the zombie movies. And, and I think for even most of his movies, I know Monkey Shines, I, ca I know, came out from um, MGM, but I think for the most part, a lot of his movies were more independent. And, um, so this was really cool to see him get to really have the studio budget and to kind of make things as big as he wanted with it. And and to cast, you know, he had Dennis Hopper in here. He had Ozzy Argento. John um, Leguizamo was in here. Simon Baker. You know, there's a really, really good cast in this movie. And basically, though, it's uh, Dennis Hopper's character. And he's kind of like the sort of the president and like in charge of this whole city and he like lives on the top floor of this uh, high rise building and basically has all the people that kind of are the soldiers and stuff working for him kind of going out and finding supplies finding cigars finding things like that and basically you know uh, John Leguizamo and Simon Baker and that group they're getting kind of tired of working for him and they kind of especially Simon Baker's character wants to kind of get away from the whole thing it's really really cool movie like I said I've always loved this movie this one has on here though uh, like I said this the 4K Ultra HD edition, so it has the uh, disc one is the unrated version, which is the 2004, uh, you know, 2024 4K restoration from the original camera negative, and it also has commentary tracks on here, uh, and then the Blu-ray has the uh, 2024 restoration as well. Also commentary tracks on here, some uh, day on set featurettes, CGI tests. Uh, and then disc three has the theatrical version as well as a 2K, uh, sorry, 4K restoration with the theatrical version of the film uh, as well. There also has deleted scenes, photo gallery, uh, you know, Dream of the Dead, director's cut with optional commentary. So lots of different features on these ones, uh, you know, on this new release here as well. Uh, the next one here, this is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy to let you guys know that this one was available. And this is the first film in the Nightmare on Elm Street series to come out on 4K. I'm hoping down the line we get like a whole like box set of all the movies or something like that. That's what I'm kind of suspecting, something something down the line. And But the first one we have is, you know, the night, first Nightmare on Elm Street film you know, directed by Wes Craven, which, you know, if you guys have not seen Nightmare on Elm Street, this is like one of those movies that you've got to go out and see it. But if, honestly, though, if you haven't seen it and you have 4K, it's definitely, you know, the best way to watch it looks great here on 4k it's basically though if you guys don't know the story it's freddy krueger who is kind of going and haunting all these kids dreams and basically in their dreams if you get killed by freddy you die and all the kids are kind of you know starting to kind of realize about this Heather lane camp's character and Johnny depp's character and kind of like wanting to stay awake and things like that so freddy doesn't get them but Great movie. Uh, has on here, though, the theatrical and uncut version on here. It has Ready, uh, Freddy, Focus, See Alternate Takes, and Learn Filmmaking Secrets Behind the Scenes, by uh, uh, Behind the Nightmare by Jumping the Video Highlights, Watching the Movie. Has commentaries on here, alternate endings and featurettes uh, as well on this one. Uh, the next one here, this one was from um, uh, Paramount. This is the one I want to let you guys know that was available. This is the 20th anniversary of the film, and this is the 20th anniversary Steelbook here, too. So this is the 4K, which includes the 4K, the blur, and the digital code of the film uh, Collateral. And this one originally came out in 2004. This is one, too, I remember this one, uh, like, you know, seeing trailers for this one so much when this one first came out. Uh, this one, you know, was uh, directed by Michael Mann, and it has, uh, you know, commentary track on here on the 4K, as well as theatrical trailer, and then the Blu-ray has a commentary by Michael Mann, uh, the making of Collateral, uh, deleted scenes, shooting on location, Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx rehearse, uh, some visual effects featurettes on here. I'll show you guys a little look inside here uh, as well for the uh, Steelbook. Uh, the next ones here, uh, these ones for from MovieZing.com. I'll have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price. And this is a, a new film which stars uh, Megan Fox called uh, Subvert... Sub Servants, Subservants, I believe is how you say it. And this is an interesting movie. It's basically, though, uh, this guy, it's kind of like, it's, you know, set in the future and he ends up getting this android, uh, you know, to kind of help around the house and help, you know, after his wife is gone and kind of like, and it ends up being Megan Fox's character who plays the android. And basically... 
it's, you know, it starts off kind of okay. And then uh, Megan Fox's character starts to kind of get obsessed and, and weird. And it's sort of like something off about it. It's ki kind of like, I guess you could kind of think of this as, as Megan a little bit in that kind of a movie. And, and it's not like, because Megan had more of like a kind of comedic kind of thing to it. But it, it's kind of like that, like with the robot and everything. But this robot gets obsessed with the guy. And then like everything starts going bad. It's a, it's a really interesting movie. Like I said, this is called Subservience here uh and then and that was also from um xyz uh films the next one here this is from moviezing.com as well and it's also from sony pictures classics and this is one that i didn't get to see in theaters which has michael pa uh, fassbender called kneecap and this is an interesting movie it's basically though about a group of these kids it's all you know it's set in ireland and it's about uh, these group of these kids who are, are rappers and wanting to kind of you know start rapping and kind of going into that career and basically though they want to rap in the irish language so it's kind of a language in ireland that like like some people still use, not as many people do, and it's kind of getting a little bit somewhat forgotten. And um, basically, they want to kind of keep it alive, but with their music, and they get kind of like it's kind of like them wanting to go in that direction. Other people going, well, a lot of people won't understand what you're saying, so it's kind of like you know, but they really want to represent the Irish language. So it's a really interesting movie here. Like I said, it's called uh, Kneecap from uh, Sony Pictures. Uh, the next one here, uh, this one was from uh, Paramount. And this is, um, I think this is the first time that they released the complete series in a number of years. I remember years back, they had a complete series that was in like a, um, like the Turtle Van. And I think that went out of print. And I think this is the first time that they released it uh, in a complete series since then. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the class, the complete classic series series collection you know so this was the series that ran from 1987 to 1996 and it has all 10 seasons of the classic series 193 episodes over three hours of special features has under the shell with krang and slash under the shell with the shredder the turtles and uh, ninja tastic look back uh, it has on here, uh, Under the Shell, Baxter Shockman on here. And then inside, here's a look, though, at how the discs are for the uh, complete series here. When it comes to the Turtles, though, it's really funny. It's like, to me, I feel like the very first memories I have of watching things was Pee-wee's Playhouse and the Turtles. Especially, too, when it comes to buying figures. Like, my very first memories ever are going into uh, KB Toys. Like, for some reason, that's, like, one of the very earliest things I remember is going in KB Toys and, like, buying these figures. And it probably would have been, like, 87. It was, like three years old, like remembering that. So some, somehow, like I really remember that stuff. I, I do not know why, but I do. But um, really great show. I've, you know, a show that I've always loved since a child, you know, and I love now too, that they've been re-releasing all of the figures and stuff. So a lot of the old classic ones I buy here and there, some of the villains and stuff. The next one here, uh, this one was from Paramount as well, and this is the complete limited series here. This is when they brought Are You Afraid of the Back, uh, I'm sorry, Are You Afraid of the Dark back to uh, Nickelodeon, uh, you know, recently. It came back, I think it was like 2021 was when it, oh no, 2019 was when it came back. But, you know, the original series ran from, like, I think, like 91 to like 96 or something, and then they had the other series that was like the new cast. But this is the um, the newest series of the show, and it's basically they're all kind of each uh, each kind of series would be kind of one full kind of almost like a movie. They all kind of connect together, and it was uh, Ghost Island, it was Curse of the Shadows, and then it was this was the first one here. And they're basically they're they're very similar in style though. They kind of remind me though of the Afraid of the Dark movie that they made, like the final one. Uh, it's kind of in that style. It's sort of like that, like when they brought the series back. But I, I, I love the series. I'm hoping, too, that they release the original series in a new collection as well. Because I think with the, the original one, it was like a Burn on Demand set. So I'm hoping they do like a special edition down the line, too, which would be really cool. The next ones here, these ones were from Kino Larber. And this one is from the Kino Studio Classics line. And this is um, Cowboys and Aliens. This includes the 4K and the Blu-ray of the film. This is the movie which stars Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford. This is one of the ones that was kind of funny. This is actually, when I think of moving, you know, when I moved out to California, this is like one of the earliest movies I remember seeing out here at like um, when they started like upgrading the theaters to like, you know, the fancier theaters with reclining seats and stuff. I remember like when I first moved out here, like in Maryland, you know, they kind of had started doing that more often, like switching over to the reclining seats. But out here, there wasn't as many of them. So I remember the first time I went to like a reclining seats theater was seeing Cowboys and Aliens, uh, you know, out here. In California. So that was one of those things I always remember. And I always thought this was a fun movie. It was directed by John Favreau. And it's like, you know, it's just a really kind of wacky, 
kind of a little bit in the vibe of like Wild Wild West a little bit. But has on here a commentary track, conversations with the director, Daniel Craig, Harrison Ford, Olivia Wilde, uh, Steven Spielberg, Ron Howard. Uh, it has on here the making of, and it also has the both the um, theatrical cut and, and then the 135 minute extended cut as well as the theatrical trailers and TV spots on this one. The next one, this was from Kino Larber as well. And this is from their Kino Cult line, which I'm so glad they're starting to release these um, TV uh, movies from the past. And this is called The Classic Go. 1970s gothic television restored and discovered. This is basically um, uh, these kind of lost, you know, TV movies. And I think it had on here, was it, how many were on here? It was a series of five feature length ones that were TV movies that were made in 1973. I'm, I'm, I keep on hoping now we're going to get Crawl Space. Not the Cross Kinski one, but the Crawl Space one, because that was around this era of the TV movies that they were making. And what's really cool is like seeing these movies of the week that are now coming out to Blu-ray because most of these things kind of aired on TV like once, maybe like randomly again a couple years after, and then that was it. They never came out to physical media. So these are kind of really lost ones. And it has on here uh, interviews with Mark Quigley, uh, John Mitchell, a television creator of UCLA Film and Television Archive. It also has on here demonstration of two-inch technology featuring uh, David Crosswind on here at DC Video. The next one here, this was was from um, uh, Kino Larber as well, but this is from their Greenwich line. And this is uh, Elliot Page's new film, Close to You. And this is basically uh, about, you know, uh, yeah, the, the Elliot Page playing a character who had recently had transitioned and coming back to basically see the family again. And kind of after, basically for the first time after transitioning, it's kind of like the reaction that he's getting and kind of like, you know, that some things go well, some things don't. And it's a really well done character piece, really, really well acted. You know, Elliot Page did a great job in here. Like I said, this one is called Closer to You. And the last one here, uh, this one was from uh, Acorn, and this is uh, Acorn Media International, and this is Walking Dead, uh, Daryl Dixon Season 1. This is the uh, spin-off series. This is basically when, uh, you know, Daryl Dixon's character left and went off, and it's kind of his character on his own. And it's interesting, too, because it's like him in, in Paris, and it's kind of like a very different kind of setting and backdrop and everything like that, and it's kind of about him kind of on his own and coming across a new group of people and sort of trying to survive out there and after kind of what happened. It's a really it's actually pretty well done and if you guys are a fan of the character too you know it's really all about his character it has on here cast galleries on here show me more of the walking dead daryl dixon and subtitles on this one here as well but anyway though guys that was all for the review portion of this video like i always say if you guys enjoy these videos definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching and subscribing and i'll see you guys later bye